This tutorial will guide you through the steps required to set up your online store with Magente. First of all, fire up your browser and type in the address go.magente.com. This will now bring you to this page here. Here you'll find some information about Magento and you can see that it's a premium hosting, that it's got flexible design, that it's got very powerful marketing tools, there is a Magento Connect app in store and that there is 24-7 support. So basically what we'll do here, we'll go to this cloud and we're going to click on this blue cloud here. Basically we are starting a free trial which lasts for 30 days. This will now bring us to this page here. Here we'll find a bit more information about the actual plan we are signing for. Like I said before, this is a 30 day free trial version. Now you can see that there is no credit card required and that we will get a fully functional website store. If you scroll down the page, you'll see here that once your 30 days of free trial have expired, you can actually select one of the plans that are currently available. There is the get going plan, going places, go beyond and go anywhere. So basically this will give you information about each of these plans. So currently the one we are signing for is the free trial, which is $0 and we have 100 SKUs. You can see that there is 0% transactional fees, which is basically for all the plans available. You can also see that there is a 0% setup fee for all plans as well. And now we'll come to the support. So you get the mail support and the chat support for this plan. Then you have three admin logins. Basically what this means is that you can have three dip different people logging into your account and changing your store. Also we can see that there is only one language here that we can have our store in. So basically that means that it can either be English or it can be French, um, Spanish and so on but just one language. And also we can see that we have 200 megabytes of storage and 4 gigabytes of bandwidth. So basically for the beginners and just to start off, I think the free trial version is pretty good. But let's move now to the $15 a month plan which is called Get Going. So as you can see for the cheapest plan available, you will get exactly the same as for the free trial one. So basically what this means is that we are actually getting Get Going plan which we can use for 30 days, absolutely free. Going up the ladder you will come to the Going Places plan. This is $25 a month. So basically this will have five times the number of SKUs. Also there is no transactional fee, no the setup fee. The support is exactly the same as for the get going plan. So there is the email support and the chat support. But now we have 10 admin logins. So 10 people can actually control the content of your website or the web store. Also only one language is available and the storage has increased by 300 megabytes and the actual bandwidth has doubled to 8 gigabytes. Going to the next one, and this is the one that uh, Magento actually recommends, is called Go Beyond. Now, Go Beyond, as you can see, is $65 a month. And for that extra $40, what you get is double the SKUs. There's also no fees as well. But also, you will get the phone support and the email support and the chat support. So basically, you can just call Magento customer service and they'll be able to help you with any questions you might have. Also the number of admin logins has doubled from 10 to 20. You have now three languages so that's a big improvement here. So from one language it went to three for another 40 bucks and the storage has actually increased as well and the bandwidth once again has been doubled. So going anywhere is a plan that offers the most and this is the premium of the Magento Go. Basically for the $125 a month you will get 10,000 SKUs, there is no setup fee and no transactional fee. The support is also the same, you have the email, the chat and the phone support. You will get 30 admin logins, 3 languages, 5 GB storage and 32 GB of bandwidth. So I would suggest this plan to people who already been using some of the other plans and their business is going really well and they need to increase the actual storage and the bandwidth of their site or the actual store. Scrolling down the page you will find some frequently asked questions and actually you'll find the answers there. So this could be actually useful to read. And actually go, let's go back to the top. Alright, so let's start filling in. So the store name I will just type BG Con. 
So what my store will actually do, I'm going to sell a lot of spare parts from the computer. So basically from hard disks to maybe monitors, USB flash drives, and maybe mouses, mics, cameras, and so on. So I'll call my, my store BG Computers. Then I will enter my email address. Once I have that done, I will hit on the let's go. Alright, this will now bring me to this page and as you can see we are almost done and we have to answer a few more questions here. So we have to type in the first name, last name, phone number, username, password and the country we are currently located in. So as I have already said, I'll be selling some PC spare parts, so once again like from monitors to basically hard disks and so on. So basically what I would like to select here is I would like to go into electronics and appliances. And as you can actually see here, man, and as you can actually see here, there's many different categories that you can actually choose from. So basically from the web design to uh, others or I don't know yet. So basically I will just go, well actually go into here, high tech, software or IT. Then I will select my experience level and I'm going to go with e, uh, new to e-commerce. So you can go new to e-commerce, experienced, switched from a competitor or web design. So I'll just go new. So once I've done that, I can actually go and click here so I can read the terms of services and now this will pop up a new window and I would strongly suggest you actually read all this even though there is a lot of to read but basically you know what you're kind of signing this is the agreement you're signing with the Magento so once you have done that you're ready to create your store and just click on the create my store button alright so if you made up any mistakes with actually filling in the details it will return you back to the form and you have to correct it so for example I have entered my password but you can see that the passwords must be between 8 and 16 characters and include at least one capital letter one number and so on so I'll quickly go and change that once I have changed that I will go and create my store Alright, so basically this is all we have to do now. We'll see this page here which actually congratulates us on actually creating our new store and that we will receive shortly a email that actually is going to inform us that our e-commerce store is now available and we can actually start building on it. So we can find some information here as well. As I said, I'm going to BG Computers. That's what the name of my store will be. Here is the actual address of my store so if i would like this store to be advertised somewhere this is the address i would actually put or you know your customers would put this address in their address bar to actually um, to get access to your store all right here there's some information that about how to build and manage your store so there's a store admin address uh, there's the username and the password and then there is the magento account so some information about the magento account and down the bottom you'll find some information about how to get started and so on so once i have received my email from magento i'll be able to actually go on and create my store all right so i logged into my email account and here i'll find pretty much the same information as i had on my previous page which was actually just giving some information about how to build and manage my site and how to manage my Magento account. Alright so what I will do now is actually I'll go to this address and I'll log in into my store. Here it's gonna ask for the username and the password so I'll enter those. and then hit on login alright so once I have logged in I will be presented with this dashboard and basically just for this video what's important is to actually see this message here that this store is still under construction 
So throughout this series of tutorials, we'll actually see how we can build up our store, have it online and have actually people purchasing and we can actually earn some money from our sales. But this is basically all the steps required for you to actually sign in or register your actual store with Magenta Go.